Well, should we just try it and give it a go? <laughs> no! Oh, it's gonna attack me! <laughs> All right. And great. I got you a present. Thank you. I bought you a nice Christmas T-shirt. You did. <laughs> you and I bought you T-shirt with my name on it. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to another kitchen hack testing video, folks. The playlist in which we test kitchen hacks. Uh, so you don't have to, or sometimes you do, because they turn out rather stonking indeed. Uh, today. It's my turn. It is. Your turn. Mrs. B tends to come up with some rather stonking ones, but I um, sometimes pull it out of the bag, and I've got a few today that I think you might enjoy. So, without further ado, I haven't said this for a few videos because you've done the last few ones. Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where you've made garlic bread and you thought, oh no, I've spilt it everywhere, but at least I could soak it up into something and make garlic bread simultaneously with my chicken Kiev, so I've got garlic bread chicken Kiev. Hmm. How do you spill garlic bread everywhere? Um, when you bake a chicken Kiev, right, it spills and oozes garlic out and sometimes right. it goes on your baking tray or if you cook it straight up on the rack, which some people do apparently, you get garlic everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to avoid that. Two fresh garlic chicken Kievs. I spent about five minutes analysing all the chicken Kiev brands and things available yesterday mm -hmm. and these are like the fattest and the most plump. You don't know what's going on yet still, do you? I got an idea. Right. Are you going to put that on the chinkier on top of a piece of bread? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Gee! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright, don't hold back. Oh! That is a smell. Stink. Come on now. Have a smell of that, ladies and gents. Oh, that's like Have a smell of that. garlic. It's lush. Shall I, like, stab it? Um, okay, stab one. Just a little incision. Because this is my fear, whether, remember when we baked bread in the oven on the previous hacks video? And it kind of all like cooked. Just tasted. Yeah, it didn't really toast it amazingly. Apparently halfway through cooking, you're supposed to turn the bread over and it will create garlic bread. So rather than the juices going in the tray, it'll go in the bread. And mate, simultaneously, uh, you're putting that in and I'm gonna put a timer for 12 minutes on there. Have you ever been in the situation, this is a lifestyle hack, Okay. Where you are going to give um, some money to a relative for a present, okay? Sometimes a gift voucher is a lot easier, right? Right. But it's been in your bag for so long it's got scrunched up. Okay. It needs to look a bit neater, it needs to look fresh. Where are we going? Fine. No, we're going to my old money box. I'd like to introduce you to my uh, actual first ever bank. Uh, this is uh, what I used to keep my money in and I now keep my foreign money in. Uh, it's even got a Woolworth sticker on, so those of you from the UK will know how old it is now. You see there's loads of coins in it, but there are some notes and there should be some scrunched up ones in here. Mrs. B is going to go get her hair straighteners because, oh hello. Hello. With this hack, we can hopefully make old money look fresh. This is clean money laundering. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay, so we've got, oh, look at that one. Oh, imagine that I'm giving someone a US dollar bill for a present, and it's like, oh no, look, it looks horrendous. It's all scrunched up. That's where the hair straighteners come in. Because I really want to give someone one dollar. Like that? Oh, look, look at that, yes. Look at that. I can see, that was cool. That is incredible, that looks like Monopoly money now. Yeah. That's brilliant, Oops. that's so cool. Sorry, so you're going back in there, mate. And I'll see you in another 10 years. Do you think this is how they do it in the banks? Yes, mate. <laughs> Folks, we just made an executive decision. It's about 10 minutes in, and these Kievs are not doing much. So, what we're going to do oh, is we. Yeah. Are they? Look! That one's juices. Are you sure? Oh, there is juice. Yeah. Well, I think we should assist one. Right, I'm just thinking if I just make some holes with a bamboo skew. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. I'm just going to try and help this one a little bit. I don't think we need to turn the bread over, actually. Okay. I think that's going to help. But either way, it's quite neat, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation, Mrs B, yeah. where you've been given a yoghurt? Yes. And you don't have cutlery? Okay. So we've gone for a picnic, for example. I go to work and I forget my spoon for my yoghurt. She does do that. Yep. She says, Can you please be my favourite spoon? Make sure it's the teddy bear one. There's a, a hack. If you oh, have a foil yes. lid yoghurt, yep. Okay, and there's other foil lid based desserts available. Yep. Or if you happen to have foil and rather than a spoon, you should be able to do this. Okay, okay. So let's show you. So what you do is you take your lid and you fold across like that, okay? 
Yeah. And then you fold across again like that to almost make a sort of ice cream cone shape. Okay, and then to make sure that this stays in place because anything could happen, a, a sudden wind could blast and stop it happening. You just fold it over there and give it a little tail, okay? Pop the ends out, you curve it a little bit like that to make a sort of ice cream cone shape. Okay, like that. So what now you've got is the world's most convenient foil lid. Boom. I it's, it's yeah, really I mean, I idea. would go to a shop and go, hmm, what a lovely spoon. <laughs> I really wanted to buy that spoon. I think that's a very good idea. Thanks. For reference, Mrs. B just told me off camera, she would have pronounced that fage. And not just like that. I'm going to let you guys interpret that because I know we have some younger viewers watching. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, you did. I didn't. No, I didn't. Hmm, this yogurt tastes like fage. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh, look! Yeah. Juices! There's juices! Oh, we need to get this out. Can you see there's juices right there? And it's soaked into the bread. Oh yeah? Oh, to turn that over, Mrs. B. Ooh! It's got a seat It's soaked in the anyway. other side. Turn it the other way, that's it. Like that. Yes, mate. Back in the oven for a few more minutes then. Okay. This could work. Mrs. B, have you ever been in a situation where you have got a Yankee candle or other candles are available? I love Yankee candles. If I could ever do a brand deal with anyone, it would be Yankee candle. Right, imagine yep. this situation. You are a T-Rex, so your arm proportioned to the rest of your body yep. is, is tricky, so you can't reach the wick well, I have in that the problem candle. anyway. I got small. Yeah, but you're not a T-Rex. You don't have a tail or you didn't star in Jurassic Park, really, did you? <laughs> or did you? So here is a way to light a candle yep. from a distance safely with a food item. Spaghetti? Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Uh, you need one strand of spaghetti. Oh, look, no, it's worked. <gasps> That's such a good idea. Look at that. Quick. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you got me quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I love that idea. Next time we can't find the matches when it's like the kids' birthday <laughs> cakes. Just make sure we've got spaghetti in the cupboard. Yes. That's worked. I think we'll let it cool slightly. Yeah. That's, you know, you're not going to get it all out. I mean, that's more of the, the actual physical garlic itself and the herbs. And it's a bit crunchy. Whoa, oh, just in here, just in here with a breadcrumb. Help me. <laughs> Please help me. Oh no, don't wipe my nose. Ah. No, 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 what do you mean? Ah. Not to out. Cover one nostril and snort. Cover one nostril that it went up. Like when Chloe got a bead stuck up her nose. Mmm. Oh, it's like got a buttery taste to it. Yeah, you have it's a like... buttery, oily mm. a hint Which, of garlic. Yeah, it's like fried bread. Yeah, it's That's a mild. Really nice. This is a good idea, I yeah. like this one. It's a mild taste to it, isn't it? Hmm. It's like a mild garlic bread. Oh, yeah. And that is a really good idea. Ever been in a situation where you've got a bottle of bubbly that you've opened and you're like, oh, I need to save the sparkles. I don't want to drink all of this right now. Yeah, and then I put a spoon in it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, because our fridge is full of bottles with spoons in it. It looks like a weird wind chime. This one's not about um, getting the cork out. We did an amazing hack which works brilliantly where you fire a chef's torch mm. there and it expands. And the, check that out, it's on the hacks page. It's very funny. Um, we're not going to do that. There's other ways if we had a sword. We have a sword, don't we? We have one by our bedside. <laughs> Next to the axe. We're going to try and get the cork back in. So let's just get the cork out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Push, you can see its head. Yes. Mrs. B. Yes. This is the cork that you just extracted from there, but look, look at that, and yeah. look at this. That's a there massive. is no way that's going in there. No, it's not. Well, apparently, it can. I don't believe you. Hello, I live in Cork. Don't say that. Sorry. Right, you look after the cork. I am gonna get some, good catch. I'm gonna get some hot water on. We're gonna boil the kettle. That's gone enormous. I don't like the fact that it's... What are you doing? I didn't get it. Submerging it in warm water. That's not warm, that's boiling. Exactly, it's warm. That, for, that only needs to be in there about a minute, apparently. Mrs B with a fork hack right there, look at that. Like David Blaine. Oh my oh. gosh. It looks yeah. huge. That's not worked at all. Oh, it's softer. Shall we try? 
What are we going to do? It's supposed to go in the bottle, isn't it? <laughs> well, this isn't going in. Try and squeeze the bottom end of right, it. All right. Oh gosh, that's going to need some serious squeezing, isn't it? I told you it was just going to expand. Go back in there. Go back in there for longer. Yeah, it's obviously not cooked enough, is it? So more water will go in there and it will get even bigger. You've got a spoon up, boy, have you? Why have you just turned the camera on? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. B. <laughs> well, you know when we're doing our off-camera research, this is between, strictly between you and I. Have you bought the wrong kind of bottle with the cork in? Okay. I'm not sophisticated, all right? You know how I work. I said to you last night on the phone, it's not one where you put a corkscrew in to get it out, is it? And you're like, no, one with a twisty thing on top. Yeah, but some of them are plastic. It's hard these days. They're all covered up, aren't they? We'll do that on the next hacks. All right, I got a bottle of Prosecco. Yeah, nice. <laughs> stick your spoon in that and... Have you ever been in the situation where you've bought your wife a bottle of Prosecco without her even realising because you just love her for who she is? <laughs> we'll do that one again. Don't worry. Uh, you're going to love your Prosecco. You've already got your spoon in it. It's, yep. it's banked. Back it's labelled. But as a token for my love, on our wedding day, we put these things called rings on our hands. The yes. priest blessed our rings, didn't vicar. they? The vicar. So some of you have actually noticed this. Uh, in the last year, maybe? Uh, we were out in the shops because the ring that I bought, my actual original wedding ring, which was blessed by the... Vicar? Is not this one. No. Uh, because the other one, because I lost a bit of weight, um, the other one doesn't fit my finger as well as, as this replacement one, which is a little bit cheaper, but I thought, you know, I still show people I'm married because I get a lot of attention, you know. You could just get the other one resized. I can't. That's the point. I can't get it resized. You can't find it. No. <laughs> I went to get it resized, and because of the material that it's made of, right? Cheap. <laughs> it's not! So this one was blessed by Barry. But that, look at that! How many people have two wedding rings? But that's much heavier. This, I don't know what material it is. That is heavy. Is that like titanium? Pardon? You see? That is my wedding ring. God, be... that's so cheap! It was. <laughs> I remember at the time you went, when we were buying them, you went, we won't, we just get me a cheap ring because I'm more likely to, this is what you said, not me, that oh, you, yeah, yeah, you were sure. more likely to lose it, so there's no point buying an expensive one. Yeah. Well, we can see, look, how easy that comes off. Look, okay? So, we need a glue gun. We're going to run a bead of glue inside the ring and then once it cools, Okay, it should fit snug as a bug, and I'll wear it, oh. as my promise, I will wear it until it falls off, or until the glue the wears the away. Yeah, will it wash away? I don't know. Well, that's what we're going to find out. It's going to get dirty, isn't it? I got it. You have to roll it. Yeah, don't, think, don't do it all the way around. Don't? Mm, no. Oh. Yeah, about there is perfect. Wow, okay. That's really hot now. Brilliant. Well, we need to keep it warm for the final hack. Get it on. Look, look, look. Well, that other one is rubbing you. <laughs> no, look at that. No. Oh, I've got like a replica though of it. I'm going to put that on eBay. Well, I think maybe after we all that. Let it cool a bit quicker, a bit longer. No, I think that's not going to work okay. at all. Keep that glue gun, Mrs. B, because you're going to okay. stick some chopsticks to a fan. Oh, yes, yeah, she went and bought that fan last night. <laughs> I'm married again. Sorry, ladies. What's funny about that? I don't know, I'm sorry, that, sounded, that was really bad. I don't know why I laughed like that, I'm sorry. Ha ha, he's mine. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Good recovery. Um, last night I went out shopping for ingredients. I bought a bottle of Prosecco for my lovely wife. Oh. Which I'm going to retract that offer now. Uh, and I bought some ingredients for this video and I popped to my sister's oh, 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 for some chopsticks because we have chopsticks here. But somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> don't, don't know where they are. In the garage yeah. somewhere. One of the dogs probably eating them or something, yeah. Um, and I also bought this desk fan, okay? There's a guy that I bought, he was a Londoner when I picked it up from um, the local shop. Argos, I'll tell you that. And it was like one degree last night. It was night. one degree, it was <laughs> really icy. cold. It was like 8pm at night and he's like, Oh, blimey mate, a bit cold for that, innit? You don't want one of fans like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a long story, it's for that. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, it's going to be a bit cold. You don't want one that's for cooling you down. Aren't you cold enough? Like, no mate, it's for a hack video. It's a long story, it's for how to do ha hacks. Oh, a big fan of your work, Mrs B. 
Ah. It's been unpackaged and it's a rechargeable one. It's a USB thing, so we got it on the go. We need to get the cover off of it. What is this hack? Chopsticks. And oh, no, I'm not gonna tell you. Just give me a big old splodge, a big old puddle of hot glue, Mrs. B. Yeah, loads of it. Big old pile. All right, that's amazing. I'm stuck. <laughs> now, have you ever been in the situation where you have wanted to beat some eggs, but you don't have a whisk, you don't have an electric whisk, you don't have a fork, in fact, you have nothing other than three cho chopsticks, a hot glue gun, and a, a fan. Okay. We're gonna whisk eggs with that. Yeah. Now, that one's a bit wobbly, isn't it? Well, should we just try it and give it a go? <gasps> Oh, it's gonna attack me! <laughs> no, it's gonna go faster! That was like lethal! Oh, no. For the fact that I turned it on with a plug, thinking it would stop. Because <laughs> it's rechargeable, isn't it? Oh my gosh! We need to protect the plugs and ourselves. Do you have a crash helmet? Yeah, that's the plan. Like that, yeah. Oh, we haven't got any eggs out. Shall I try it? I'll wait with the eggs. This looks so weird. Mm. Shall I put it in? Shh. Oh no! I'm gonna make it go faster. That's working. There you go. Get some height on it. Is that one? Oh, it's right out of battery. Oh no! Whoa! That's worked, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, should we get rid of all of our whisks now? This is quite clearly safer. We'll we'll leave that as a success, or do you want to do that? Shall I leave you to it? That's not high. Go, bro! Put it back! Hang on, I'm losing power! Hang on! Go. Oh gosh! <laughs> and then you can cool yourself down afterwards. <laughs> Well, we're going to have an omelette for uh, for lunch. Yeah. But folks, I think um, we shall call that a day for the hacks this time. Okay. <laughs> yes, I think we should. I think what we is this? This one has been crazy. We will try the cork one next time. Don't forget to have a barrel for now. Put in your spec button. Check out the rest of the hacks video and subscribe for regular videos. Over fifteen hundred videos here on the channel. Yes. Yeah, sorry, I'm just picking the glue off. Are you? Yeah. I've got to give them back to my sister. Yes, you do. All right. See you next time. Bye. Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen's for me, Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Don't you've got your dirty laugh going. Oh dear. It might start stiff and then go floppy. of this clip where you're going to see but Mrs. B's kind of lost it. <laughs> <laughs>